start reading them with the Stop the Violence Acro Movement. Stop the Violence Acro Movement. Yeah. And I'm just, we're just walking around in the neighborhood and letting people know that uh, making sure that people are aware that there was a shooting in their neighborhood. Yeah. I'm sitting here on the west side of Akron at Circle K at the site of a shooting that happened earlier this week. Here's, um, here with Stop the Violence President Darvita Davis. He's going to give us a little bit more information on what happened. Darvita. Uh, hi, my name is Darvita Davis with Stop the Violence. Uh, we, I believe this is what happened as far as the reports that came in through the uh, news, uh, Newsnet 5. They were saying that um, a young man was driving in his vehicle and he was victim by shooting. That's as far as what I know. Uh, he's a 31-year-old gentleman uh, by the name of Jaquair Johnson, uh, nickname Two. Um, we know that he was uh, rushed to Akron City Hospital or Akron General Hospital and he was pronounced dead on arrival. As I read it, we know that you the One of the things that we do, we do canvas door to door and we ask, we just go door to door and tell people that we love them, we care about them, and that we want our city to grow and that it's time to stop the violence. Yes, this is the 23rd homicide? This is the 23rd homicide for the city of Akron here uh, currently, um, here November, November 17th. 17. So yes, 23 current. Last year we had 26 homicides, the year before it was 22. So we know that we need to come together and do something to, to let people know that, you know, this is not going to be tolerated. We can't continue to watch our kids die in the street. What are you going to do to put the unity back in the hood? So we're going to take our step to come together and walk door to door and just let people know that it's time to get involved. It's time to bring some hope and vision back into the city of Africa. Guys, have it. Let's all come together as a community and stop this violence. The word of the hacker. Were you were you aware of the shooting that, that occurred this, this past week? Were you aware of the shooting that happened here at the gas station? No, I wasn't. I was not even. At my age, you really don't get scared of dying anymore. You know. But I hate to see young people dying, mm -hmm. you know. I know that's right. Amen on that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. She said that she, um, she was, uh, when she heard about the shooting, she was really, uh, you know, upset. She was really scared because she got kids of that, you know, that's the same age. Wow. She said she jumped on, she said she jumped on the floor and called her kids and called each one of her boys, her three boys, to, just to make sure they was okay. So this is something serious that's really going on and affecting our communities. And there she goes, hey! <laughs> and so I'm gonna keep on continuing to do it, that all as much as I can, you know. And like I said, um, this East Baltimore town, um, they came together and they went 369 days without one homicide. So I know we can do it here in Akron. I think like when you got in the majority of this is contributing to drugs. I mean, if you don't want to scared to speak the word, I'm not. Okay, cause I had a brother that died with it. Okay, I got loved ones that are doing drugs. Okay, the thing of it is when they sent them down there to the courts in front of the judges, instead of the judges trying to get them a rehab place, they put them in jail. They just lock them up, put them in that act, throw them in one after another. And it's door to door and we ask, we just go door to door and tell people that we love them, we care about them, and that we want our city to grow and that it's time to stop the violence.